Evening everybody and welcome to post-match reaction for Rangers 2-0 win over St Johnston in the League Cup. Um, doing this tonight in collaboration with Stan Zybrox, I'm joined by my good pal Curry. Curry, how are you feeling after that, pal? A wee bit better. Three points not the road, mate, eh? <laughs> well, it, wasn't, it wasn't even three points. I know, I'm, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling overall about it, but? Right, well... I had about three hours sleep last night, so uh, I need to apologise to everybody. Uh, I'm, usually, I'm I'm uglier than I normally are. It's, I've, got, I've got a face like a couch, a bush couch with dirty washing stuff in it. Oh, <laughs> absolutely sharp. But I, a bit, I'm happy, mate. It's what the fans deserved. We needed that. We really, really needed that. Uh, obviously, the players did enough, manager, and the club needed it. But I think. If this had went any other way, ah, I, I'd dread to think that about the fallout that that would have caused. But no doubt we'll talk go through all the game me yourself. How was your day, mate? How you were at work. I was at work, but I managed to catch it. Um, thought they played all right overall. I'm, I'm happier that in an attacking sense we opened St Johnston up fairly easily. I would say. Um, happy to see Danilo get 45 minutes under his belt. I thought he had some good movement, some nice touches. Uh, we'll get through a line up and we'll do mind we've done that. Stan's Ibrox one night, we gave him more rating. Aye, we'll do it that way. Uh, so Jack Butland, solid seven. I would say I don't think there was anything really for him today, was there? Nah, uh, I think he had maybe one safety mate just over the bar, and there was one that came off the post that, uh. He was close to. I don't know whether it would have went in, and then right at the end, he, he made himself big. And uh, it's the St George player. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Uh, just I mean, Belund. I think he just panicked. Uh, next one, we'll just get elephant in the room out of the way now. Another unsatisfactory performance for James Tavernier for me. I don't know about you. Hold on a sec, mate. I'm, I'm a bit to punch my dog. <laughs> Come up. <laughs> I see you. She said, didn't my feet clawing at me for, oh, for attention? Right, I know. She's just trying to distract you if it's Tav, mate. That's what she's doing. Aye, she, she knows. She's like, don't, don't, don't you dare slag your Tav. Well, I know for a, a, a fact I'm going to piss at least one person off at some chat. All right there, Doug. <laughs> How you doing, mate? <laughs> uh, so that's another game that... Captain Calamity, Captain Doolittle, Captain Piss Poor has come on, done 90 minutes after our manager said that he was going to be managing his minutes and he would not play as right. much. Now, did he have some good parts in it? So so, but there was far more negatives. The amount of misplaced passes that he had, especially short passes. The amount of times I've seen him caught out of position, uh, <laughs> a St. Johnson winger was ragdolling him for three or four occasions. That's just, that's no right. Uh, and then right at the end, and he did this, so I don't know I don't know if this is something that Clement's telling me to do, or this is, I, I, I hope so. But then again, I don't, because I hope Clement's not telling me to do this. He's starting to drift in, into the midfield and over, over the other side of the, the park, he's all over the place. He reminds me of Kenny Miller. But he used to do. He was Aye. supposed to be a striker, but he was all over the bloody pitch. And Tavernier started to do the same thing. And did they put a couple of decent crosses in? Aye, but nowhere to the standard that he used to be. He's a spent force. And I don't care what anybody says, as long as come on, and this is going to get me a lot of pelters. And that, believe it or not, this whole thing's no negative. This is only going to be the probably negative thing I've got to say all night. And you probably know where I'm coming from. Because you know, I don't like the guy anyway. But see, as long as come on, continues to play Tavernier, I can't support him. Because if he can't see what we're seeing, except for the, maybe the one or two out there, that they may just get down on their knees and they've got a, a, a poster of him up in their wall above their bed. If he can't see how bad he's been 
since he came back this season. And oh, he's behind season, fair enough. He's behind season. He should have been caught up by now. It's as simple as that. So I'm sorry, Tavernier needs to be dropped. But he's ain't because if he keeps on playing the way he is the new, he's just going to get even more hated. It'll not just be me that'll be on his back. You heard it, you even heard it in the, the, the sparse crowd that we had. We were starting to get pissed off with him. Nah, because he was playing. So for, for me, he gets <clears> a bang average five, mate. <clears throat> By the way, but Butland, I'd say the same, mate. Probably a seven for me. But Tavernier gets a bang, a, bang, a 4.5 to a five. For me, the I day. see. I was going to go maybe five and a half, and you know what I'm like, Curry. I'm no well. I'm, I've I've never been against Tav. I've got my opinion on him, and it, my opinion kind of changes on how he plays. If that makes any sense. Sometimes you think he's passable. Sometimes you think he's brilliant. Sometimes you think he's awful. But that's about four or five matches now. He's played ninety minutes, and teams are targeting the right back area because he. I noticed that right from the start, mate. Mm-hmm. They, they started right off. The, that's all they did. They attacked that left hand side because it's obviously they've been sell. They've said, "Listen, get in that left hand side. That's where they're weakest." And that, in a couple of occasions, if they had any quality players at all in the middle, or any quality players coming coming off their left winger, they, they they would have probably scored the day. Because as I said, I think I can count about seven times that you get beat. So, which, which, hold on, wait, I see what Doug said. A lot, of, a lot of our early chances came from Tav managing and pointing. Are we go, Doug? You're, I'm sorry, mate, but you're talking absolute shit, mate. I'm sorry. I know, I, I don't want to fall out with you, buddy, right? You're a great guy. You've got loads of stats and everything, but that's bullshit, mate. <laughs> sorry. That's just bullshit. <laughs> just, I totally dis- disagree with you, but I don't know. I don't know how you're seeing that. Because I'm certainly not seeing it. Maybe I've just got, uh, I'm so just anti Tav now that maybe I, I don't see these good things. But as I said, I admitted he put a couple of good balls in, but that was it. I don't think he never did it, he play at all. Right. It, was, it was everybody else that was doing it. Aye, aye. And there was a aye. couple of times that, I, yet again, his other players covering his ass because, you know, I'm trying not to swear. No oh, man, because <laughs> I know this is going out in my channel and yours, so I need to watch my, what I'm saying, especially the first couple of minutes, because you know what YouTube are like. It's just, it's no there. And if you're seeing it, I'm sorry, you get, I'm, I'm going to send you a, a voucher for Specsavers. So just give me your email, Doug, and I'll send that over to you, mate. <laughs> right, so that's Tav done and out of the road. Uh, centre back John Suter. Who did you think, Curry? I never really so, noticed much. Of, so, uh, I never really noticed much of Suter, so that must have mean he was. It must have meant he was all right, kind of steady. Aye, I, I thought he. I actually thought he was quite positive because mm-hmm. he got forward a couple of times, Aye. and he was he was making him make fouls because he was bypassing them, and I think it was opening them up, and he did play a couple of decent. Passes. He didn't have much today on the defensive side because St. Johnson were they Aye. were piss they were piss poor. That, I was struggling that, to they, see they, they, they were they were actually worse than I thought because see when that the the score against Kilmarnock, yeah. I thought I was oh this is a dodgy one. This I thought I wasn't sure if we would win win this or no. It could have went either way, but for that game, uh, I we played. I'd say pretty decent. I don't think we were outstanding. I thought we were pretty decent, uh, but they were they were really bad. So, so uh, I, I gave him a, a, a solid solid eight, mate, because he never, I don't think he, no, I can remember. I don't think he made any mistakes. Or I like remember that. him a couple of times driving out a defence way ball, and Aye. he looked he looked tonight as if he got a wee bit of confidence back. Do you know what I mean? Because he's been a wee bit shaky at the beginning of the season, so. I, I'd probably agree between a seven and an eight for Suter. Uh, proper, again, just looks like a player that's come in. I don't want to say he's like a Rolls Royce player, Curry, but he just looks steady, stable. You're not going to get anything classy off him. Do you think he's just going to do basics well, isn't he? Well, I was thinking that he went off. Right. <laughs> I like, no. uh, that, that's five injuries and five games. 
So obviously, come on, it's cryogenic chamber, cold store, whatever it is, is no working. Uh, this is an, this is another negative towards Clement is that it's I just feel as if he's contradicting himself, especially in pressers, and it's frustrating. And I know for a fact it's not just me, because a lot of the I've seen it a lot in Twitter, and I've seen it a lot in a lot of other socials as well. Um, so hefty left back. What did you feel about? It? Thought he had a good game, solid. Ah, uh, I, I, I agree, mate. I, again, he, he just in, in that position. I think he just he, he suited there. Uh, another, I'd say, solid eight out of, eight, eight, eight out of ten, probably. Uh, some good movement. He, he winked up with Matondo a few times. Uh, we'll go into him in a minute. Uh, I can put some decent boys in. Uh, I'm lucky with a header. I have thought. But he was decent. Put it this way, he's one of these players, mate. He's another player that uh, I'll get you off your seat a wee bit. Right. When you see him, right. when he start, when he starts pressing and moving, you can you're like, go oh, on, my man. You, you you can you feel feel that wee bit of excitement. Something that we've been lacking, especially uh, last the end of last season, there was none of that at all. Aye, definitely, definitely. Boy, it's a good game. Hate I would get him. Um, do John Sterling the Midway Park his first full 90 minutes since last season how did you think he got in I, I don't think he was as present than he normally is mate I don't <clears> know <throat> whether it's because he's getting shifted here there and everywhere than now I don't know what's happening I know a lot of people pre- prefer him in midfield but I, I would much prefer seeing him in the position that we bought him for. We need better cover, or we need somebody to take care of the reins for Tavernier, because he's no, he's no going to be able to last this, these 90 minutes all the time. And this is why I'm just concerned that Clement's using them all the time in that position. So I don't know. He a solid game, mate. I wouldn't give him any more than a 7 out of 10. I don't think he, he did some things, but I don't think he was outstanding. I, I don't think he stood out. I mean, for much of the game, there was wee flashes there here and there, but I don't think it was a brilliant game for him. Normally, normally he's usually pushing for money the match, but no, no, no for me this time. I, I think it's going to take him a wee while to get up his speed. So it was his kind of a uh, kind of part of pre season because he's picked up injuries and whatever else and come on, it's trying I actually to thought it was, he picked up another one the night, mate. I so did that. When I was like, oh, God, don't say that. That's what I thought, mate. That's what I Aye. thought. But he came out of it really well. Um, uh-huh. Got some cramp, get back up, go on, mate. I think he sprayed a good pass out of McCausland at one point, but he's good. He was decent enough. Decent enough. He was passable. Who was, who was next to him in centre mid, Curry? I had a mind blank. I know Diamonde was at 10. Who was next to Sterling? Dow. Double. All right, aye. I'm just going to say a four or a five for me, you guys, an empty jersey. Aye. Uh, I, I actually thought that he wasn't even playing in the first half, mate. Aye. He probably aye. he probably was. He got, probably got a few touches and that, but I don't think he did anything at all that I can remember. Aye. And it was the same with the second half and all. He was there, but just in spirit. <laughs> apparently. Aye, I know what you mean. Uh, uh, I don't think he played any decisive balls to anybody. I don't think he did any outstanding defending. He, he didn't need you really. But I don't think he, he helped in the midfield much. So um, it's, uh, probably a four or a, a, fi- a five, because bang average. Because if it's the good, it was the bad. So it needs to be a five. So. Aye. Aye, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. He just kind of floated about the game, didn't he? Didn't he really do much? Do you Monday in the 10? Thought he thought he done all right. He gave us more movement than what we've seen in that role this season. Um, he was more involved, higher up the pitch. I'm just trying to be positive. Um, I'm still on the fence with him on the mate. Right? right, I thought last season he was absolutely tremendous. Uh, I, I thought he was going to be one of the stands out say this season, but I just I don't know if if I'm seeing something different for everybody else. Eyes get flashes. He get brought. He's strong. He's got, I mean, he can move the ball, 
but he's just he's offy, offy clumsy, especially with his first touch with me. Because it comes in and it goes away. He managed to get it because of his physicality. Because he's so big and lanky that he manages to get, get the ball in that. Aye. But then it tie, it slows the play down and it ties the ball up. And he's stretching for a lot of balls. And I'm just scared that if it does it, we either get a sore one weighed in by somebody coming in or he overstretches. It's just... I don't know. It's so early in the season. Is he going to get better? I hope so. I hope he pulls off the form that he was uh, last season because he was one of the shining lights. So I'm hoping that that form comes back. But I don't think that he was brilliant. Again, it's another... He was the brilliant, but he was the bad. So it's, it's another, another, say, 7 out of 10. So he, he, was, a bit, he was better than average. Robbie Matondo on the left-hand side. No, hands up. I know he's inconsistent. I know he does a one-half, but uh, I need to disagree with LT's comment at the beginning of the pod, yeah. saying he's just coming back for the game. Couldn't believe how bad Matondo was in empty jersey and he's on 28k a week. Can't he confirm or deny whether he's on 28k a week or not? I don't think it would be that much. Maybe in the 20, early 20s region, but not 28. But I thought Matondo played well today. Thought it was a good game. Well, Dougie, it sounds like you're not the only one I'm going to shout at the night. <laughs> Do you not think Matondo had a good game, today? No. No? No. He had loads of the ball. He done loads of running. He did link up with Cher- Cherny quite a bit. No, Cherny with, with yes, Jeffrey it. quite a bit, right? Which I thought was good. But absolutely zero up front. His final ball was... It, 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 you say he played well. Think about what this ice of final balls did he play in that game. I know, I know where you're coming from. Right. He had a chance. He had a boy put through to Cherny. Cherny put over a bar. Th- this is the thing, mate. He needs to be more consistent, and especially <clears throat> with the end product. He's another Scott Wright. Scott Wright, take him away to the penalty box and get them running in between the channels. They, absolutely. He's like a whippet. He can, Close control. He's got a good touch, which I don't think Matondo. I don't think Matondo's got a good, t- especially first touch. I don't think he's got a good first touch. But Scott Wright's got all that. But when it comes to the final ball, he just, he just, he gets mind freeze. He mm. gets absolutely mind freeze, and and that's the downside of Matondo. And where he plays and the position he plays, he should be doing more. And he should be the one. One. We were talking about where we got to get goals. People are like. We're talking about Octav gets this amount of goals, he gets this amount of assists. We, who else is going to be? Who else is going to do that for us? It's people like Matondo and Scott Wright and Tom Lawrence. It's all these guys that should be doing this, right. and they don't do it. So I'm sorry for me and my to- Matondo. I, I, I bang average five, mate. Sorry, I disagree with you, mate, but. For me, I apologise for disagreeing with me, think, mate. That's what it's all about. I don't think he's got enough, mate. No, has, I, I would agree. I would agree. He'll hit a purple patch at some point and then he'll fade away again. That's just what he does. I hope he gets his purple point. patch soon because he can be a brilliant player. We've seen it. He can take a strike above. We've seen that, but we've both seen it this season. And that's Aye. the thing. Aye, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, over on the right hand side, Cherney. What did you make of Cherney? Some really, really good bits of football. Some sloppy play as well. But overall, he de- I'd say he definitely gets a pass. Uh, he's definitely got speed. He's got movement. He's got a final ball in him. Uh, I thought he was a wee bit apprehensive with shooting a couple of times. He could have shot. And there was a couple of th- there was other times that there was a player free that he never took on. But he, for me, I, he's another one that gets you going, get off your seat, right. mate. He's another right. one of them. So I'd say he's another solid date, mate, for me. That's he, fair. He, a lot of people were actually saying that he'd uh, possibly man of the match contender. I don't know whether that's right because I've got two 
man of the matches contenders. Hey, right. Danilo, what did you make of Danilo's first half? We'll do Danilo and Dessers, my cause and that'll be us. Right. Danilo, first 45 minutes back. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Only took five games. <clears throat> uh, I think we all knew that he was going to come on uh, with the, the pressure for come on. Uh, I think everybody was more surprised that he never get any minutes against Kiev, and he's not had any game time at all, so I think a lot of people were, it was another thing, people were getting pissed off at when he came on. Uh, his movement is really good. He uh, had a couple of chances that could he have done better? Maybe, if he was sharper. But there's we need to get him up to speed ESAP. For me, he needs to get up there. Because I think we've seen it later on when a certain guy get a, only get 45 minutes in what he can do. So I give a Danilo, Danilo, I'll give him a, this is going to sound really bad. I'm only going to give him a six because that's only because I don't think he's up to speed yet. And there's a, there's a lot of room of improvement, I think, once he does come into it. Well, I think that's why he's the best one. Hopefully it will come with fitness. Right, what about Big Dessers? Big Dessers. Potential man of the match. He scores the first goal that probably helps us out and puts us through. He was a... He was a Dessers. Remember the Dessers when he first came here? When he just used to be a pain in the ass for defences. He was the great at scoring or anything like that. Defences found him hard to defend against him. I think that's what he did at this game. I, th I thought his movement, that goal was absolutely superb. The way that he ran in and got that, the referee totally fucked that up. He totally, I don't know what uh, Stuart was moaning at. Uh, I think he was actually, he was, aye, it's no a foul. It should have been a goal. But the referee shouldn't have blew the whistle. So I don't know if it was a foul, which would have went to VAR. It would have went to a penalty, surely, because it was the boy that fouled Dessers. But the thing is, I'm just glad, because remember last year, when no quite the exact same thing, but the player kicks Dessers and he falls out. <laughs> we lost a goal because of it. This time, whenever. Uh, I've got absolutely no idea. Uh but the referee to me was blew a, a free kick for, for Dame. That was just totally baffling. Uh, but I'm glad for a change it went our way. It was an unfair dummy decision. Uh, so, big man, I'll give him a nine, right? And it's not because, oh, it's I mean, world class or anything like that. It's a nine above everybody, it's a, a score above everybody else. So, it's not a ten because he could have done better. So I would give him a nine, mate, because he got that goal that probably that a lot of fans have went, thank fuck for that. Because I know that's that, that that was my my feeling as soon as it happened. So I'm guessing I would guess that's everybody else's because I don't, as I said, I thought we played all right, but I don't think we were brilliant and we were against a very, very poor side for me. I thought the St. Johnson were awful. You missed it, mate. Ross McCausland. Uh, what's your score for Dessers? Seven. Aye. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, tell us and that's good deal. He's only played half a half a match. Aye. So my my seven's probably around about your nine, if that makes any sense. Aye. So he's probably. Well. I thought the two strikers played all right today. I don't think any of them were superb or outstanding, but they were pass marks. Um, Aye. I think, well I think, uh, do you think that Danilo had better movement Aye. than Dessers? I see, it Dessers depends on it. It depends bit, on, obviously, that goal got a bit more clinical. It depends on how we play, Murray. <laughs> see, if we play, see if we play a long ball like we have the last couple of weeks, then Dessers isn't any use because he can't win nothing in the air. 
But we played the Bonnie of Deggy Day and we get a ball up with Danilo's feet and we get a ball up with Dessler's feet. They're two completely different players, aren't we? See if you want to play a long ball, get him by a target man. Play John Suter up front because that's essentially all you're doing. You're looking for a guy to nod the ball and the runners and all that kind of stuff. Right. And touch it with a corner and all this kind of stuff. But, eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Will you do me a favour, mate? Will you put up uh, Paul's comment, please, mate? Because that was something I was going to touch in. Right, hey, quickly. We've only got a couple of minutes left. Right. I, I've noticed that with a lot of uh, Scottish football games, especially against like us in that mob. And see Paul in the jerseys and players not getting yellow care, but it's, that needs to be stopped. That 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 the, because it's like it's only been ugly ones, but they add up and it's time and time again and nothing happens. So I think that needs to be called out as well. So right, next mate. Just be me, my cousin. That's the last one. That's the last one I'm going to do. Now are you in a rush to get away? I want to get my tea. I am starving. You, I promise. <laughs> it's a post-match reaction. Half an hour tops. Right. my cousin. The bother. What's my co- <laughs> Right, uh, Ross McCausland, uh, another man of the match contender. Yeah, I'd say I know you only came on for a short time, but I thought, I thought he'd done brilliant in that right hand side, especially, especially with Baron. Him and Baron really linked up well. In fact, him, Sterling, and Baron, I thought really linked up a lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I'm gonna give him another nine. He, I'm gonna basically, I'm, he's my man of the match. Me. Aye. Aye. Aye, because I thought I thought he'd done a pow- power of stuff in that right hand side when he came on. And a wee Aye. shout out for for Fraser as well, who I thought Aye. done I thought he done really, really well. Uh in the, the, the shirt he wasn't over overwhelmed by wearing the shirt at all for the main team. I thought he was outstanding and I think he should be getting used mayor. I think he would be a better choice in that left hand side. We have to in front of him. Aye, I would. Uh, I would agree with that. I want to see Robbie Fraser getting a run in the team now that Red Van's injured and Hefty moved up one. Because yeah. I think Rob, if you're not going to give youth a chance, what's the point? I just want all the youth. To, as I as I, I sent a message to you guys in <clears> chat, I said that <clears throat> until Clement starts playing the youth players, and he starts taking players like no. Consistently playing players like Wright, Lawrence, and Tavernier. Until he stops doing that, I'm no backing him. I'll back my team 100%, and I'll back my club 100%, even though we've got a bunch of diggies on the, the board. But I'm still, I'll am always support my club, and I'll always be one of, the, one of the, the boys, one of the Bears. I'll always be one of them, no matter what. But I'm not going to back a manager that can't see what the problems are and it's the exact same I can't back a board that can't see the problems that they're causing so that's my say on it I thought, I thought I'd get that just vent that wee bit out mate oh, fair enough right well Curry cheers for coming on mate no bother mate absolute pleasure isn't it short and sweet aye short but and sweet sex life. ha ha aye good laugh <laughs> <laughs> you might be doing one name rushes again anywhere out part. Yes, <laughs> I'm glad because this one's cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody, that's us wrapping things up for a night. Um, Curry, when's your next pod? I'll be tomorrow night, mate. Tomorrow and night. I'm hoping that if you're available, maybe I'll get you on and then you can do some shouty sweary stuff. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can go on, mate. Yeah, but we'll if no, I'll, I'll, I'll just give, I'll give the boys a shout and see who's available. And if Davey's available, I'll just be a solo with me. And obviously, everybody will avoid it like a play because no doubt I'll just spend an hour. Have you, got, have you got a time anybody can? I, it'll probably be it'll probably be about eight o'clock, half past eight, something like that. R- roughly about right, the same everybody. time. I'll Head just on see, over. Uh, just come out of Sanja Ibrox. Just. Mate, most of you know where it is anyway, because I, I, I know that every single person that's come into the chat, as they always do, because they're absolutely brilliant. So I'll see you there, and thank you for coming, and thanks for the invite, mate. No problem at all. It's always good to have you on, pal. It's always good you to have you on. Man. 
Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in and we'll be back on Monday night with an analysis of tonight's match. Rangers progress into the next round of the League Cup with thankfully a comfortable 2-0 victory over St Johnston. Hopefully it's the first of many and things start to turn now. Always remember guys, every night is Rangers Journal Night. Cheers.